Hello everybody! Welcome to another Valheim video! Today, we're going to be learning all about some fantastic quality of life mods available for Valheim PC. And I've saved the mod that I feel is by far the most useful for the very end of the video. So you have to skip there or watch the whole thing to get to that part. There's some tediousness in Valheim, but there's one thing in particular that is incredibly tedious that most of you have already experienced. And this is exactly what I'm talking about. Opening chests and looking at menus. How often have you done this? You don't know where the one thing is, so you gotta open all the chests. And I don't know about you, but I don't personally find opening and closing chests for 20 minutes straight to find three or four things that enjoyable. So I've saved the answer to this for the very end of the video. Before we get into the mods though, let's talk about the mod manager R2 Mod Man. And it is absolutely incredible! If you have been installing mods manually, just forget that, really. This is amazing. You don't need to go to any websites. You don't need to look at any files. All you do is open R2 Mod Man, go to this online section here, and then you just search for whatever mod you want. Let's say I want to find Infinity Hammer. I just search for it, boom, download, and then it shows up here, bam, it's installed. And all I need to do, let's say I want to disable it, boom, enabled, boom, disabled. It's so incredibly simple. But now that you've been introduced to the easiest way to manage the mods themselves, let's actually get into the mods. Unlike my previous mod video, I'll actually show you all the mods in action today. The first mod we'll focus on is the Equipment and Quick Slots mod by Randy Knapp. This mod expands your inventory by basically putting your equipped items out of your inventory. So it adds this whole section where you can equip stuff, which will remove it from your inventory. And then it also adds these three special slots. So if I put my hammer in Z and then press Z, boom. I open up the hammer. This can also be used for potions and food and many other things. Personally, my favorite way to use these quick slots is for arrows because you can quickly change your arrow. And I love that, it's really fun. Right now I have an obsidian arrow notched, right? But all I have to do is press the hot key and now I have frost arrows. But did you notice how I kept my bow drawn? You can, as you want, switch in between the arrows, see? Obsidian, Frost, Obsidian, Frost. This makes bow combat just more intuitive, and I personally enjoy it a lot. There's one word of warning I have for you about this Equipment and Quick Slots mod, though. You have to be careful, because if you disable this mod, and then you start, you'll see that when you go to your character, they're naked. But don't worry, if you see this, you see your character is naked, as long as you don't click Start, everything's fine. All you have to do is just go back and your character will never be saved. All you have to do is make sure that the mod is actually enabled and then start Valheim back up. And then you'll see that my character has clothes, even though we just saw without the mod, he's naked. That's just how the mod works and you sort of have to be aware of that so that you don't screw yourself over. As long as you never log into the character when it's naked, it'll never get saved and you won't ever lose anything. The next mod we'll focus on is first person mode, which is very simple. It pretty much does exactly as you would imagine. Normally in Valheim, there is no first person. So if you scroll the camera in all the way, you'll see your character like this. For the most part, there is no first person. Once you enable this mod though, Zoom in all the way, and you activate a fully-fledged first-person mode. You can see my weapon, you can even see the character, you can see their feet and everything, right? It's pretty cool. I love this mod, it's great for doing work around the base, or for exploring dungeons. If you've ever explored a frost cave in first-person, it is definitely more immersive and feels more like Skyrim or something. The only caveat I have, though, is that when you're using a bow in first-person mode, it is kind of a pain and sort of gets in the way. But here's the Draugr Fang, and look at it. It, like, the glow just means you can't actually see what you're shooting. So I knew, normally do archery in third-person mode. That's my only gripe about this mod. 
The next mod is for those of you who like to play on a server, but you're irritated that when you talk, everything is always in all caps. If you don't know what I'm talking about, this is how it works in base Valheim. There's two ways to type a message. Type a message. You can see I'm typing a message in the bottom right. Normally, if you say something in Valheim, it shows up as white text, just like that, above your character's head. The problem with this, though, is only characters nearby you can see that, so you can't talk to everyone on the server that way. However, if you type shout and then your message, hello, it's going to show it in yellow text in all caps. And that's how you actually communicate with other people. The only way to do it is in all caps. And so what this simple chat mod does is it makes it so the default is shout. That way, all you have to do is type, type a message. And you'll see that it automatically shouts. And you'll also see the mod totally removes the all caps thing, so you won't even see it. And then if you do want to be more discreet, then you have to type say, and then something else. And this is how you talk to people who are close to you without talking to everyone else on the server. Overall, Simple Chat is a very effective mod that does the absolute minimum it needs to and nothing more. Another great part of Valheim, but a part that isn't balanced that well, in my opinion, is farming. Farming is really cool, and the production and the preparation are an important part of the game. But the sheer time it takes to farm all the food you need to have adventures, especially if you're farming for other Vikings, it's just absurd how much picking up and planting and picking up and planting and picking up and planting you have to do. It gets really, really repetitive and hugely time-consuming. That's where this mod, Plant Easily, comes in. Instead of having to guess and plant everything one at a time, this mod allows you to plant things in a custom grid, right? So you could make the grid much bigger. This is just two by two, so four total. And you can see that they snap together. So I can go like this, and it won't even plant them unless there's enough space for the whole grid to grow. So using this will allow you to always plant things where all of them can actually grow. And you can see that you can use it to just plant things much, much faster. And this isn't going to reduce your gameplay experience. It's going to allow you to focus more on the things that you actually enjoy. Next, we'll address another common gripe faced by Valheimers, and that's auto pickup. Have you ever noticed that your inventory just gets absolutely stuffed with all sorts of random items and then you have to go into your inventory and toss the wolf meat and the neck tails and the gray dwarf eyes and the one piece of wood and the one piece of stone over and over and over again throughout your entire Valheiming experience? If you haven't done it yet, you're fated to it if you continue to play without this mod. And that's where Auto Pickup Selector comes in. I love this mod. You see, all you have to do is press tab. And then, you know how there's that trophy menu you never look at aside from maybe once? Well, now you can open up the trophy menu and it's been replaced. So instead of having this list of trophies you'll never see, what you have is a list of game objects that show up in the game. And you just click on it once and it turns auto pickup off for that specific item. And this may seem simple, but it is great for immersion because it takes away all of the gin resin and great wharf eyes and random crap that you're gonna be picking up. If you do choose to use this mod, here are the items that I recommend you turn auto pickup off for. I've identified these as immersion breaking because they find their way into your inventory so frequently that it's a pain. The easiest way to think about it is everything boar drop, everything necks drop, and everything wolves drop, and everything gray dwarves drop. That's the stuff that you want to disable. And don't worry, because if you have disabled something, all you have to do is just pick it up normally. The next mod is very, very simple. You see, in Valheim, 
Only one person can open a chest and have this menu up at a time. So there's often problems on servers where you have another character looking at the storage and you can't look and see what's inside, which is sort of a problem if you're just checking to see what's there and you're looking for something. But with this mod, you see a text list of everything that is in the container without having to open it. And this is awesome. It's really useful on multiplayer because it means you don't have to wait for other players to finish what they're doing to check and see if that's the chest that you need to use. This is also really useful because sometimes with servers, they'll lag and certain chests just won't be able to be opened for whatever reason. And I found that this mod will actually show me what's in those chests, even though I can't look at it. Speaking of crafting, have you ever noticed how in Valheim, you have to make everything one by one over and over and over again? So if I wanna make a hundred onion soup, I have to click this button a hundred times in a row. I have to stay here staring at the screen, staring at this 2D UI element and click it and click it and click it over and over and over again. This is where multi-craft comes in. All that it does is add this little section here. You see how I can keep adding here? So let's say I wanted to make 30 onion because I have 96 onion, right? So I can go all the way up to 30 and then click craft. And now it's just gonna keep crafting. So I still have to use the resources to make everything and I still have to spend just as much time crafting but the difference is I don't have to pay direct attention. I can go off, make myself a cup of tea, do whatever and come back and the task is finished. And I find this to be much better. Next, there's one quality of life mod for sailing. I personally use this a lot just because uh, I have to sail a lot on this no map server and I sail new players to this island and it's kind of far away and they get lost if they don't know what they're doing. So I sail a lot. And that's where this transparent sail mod comes in. It's really great because basically what it does is it replaces the sail mesh with a transparent sail. So you can see it looks a bit weird because I can see through it, right? and there's that like dotted effect, but the sail is actually fully up now. And this is great because sailing for like 40 minutes in an ocean and not even being able to see through the sail, like I get that that's realistic, but it's a pain. It's really boring and it makes the person who's sailing just have to deal with a really monotonous situation. So I personally like to use transparent sails. I find that it makes sailing a more enjoyable experience without removing the danger that's present on a no map server. And congratulations, you made it to the end of the video. So now I'm gonna show you the one mod that is so incredible it's hard to stop using it once you get used to it. I actually showed you it already. If you didn't notice, when I was making that onion soup, I don't have any onions in my inventory. But if you look here, it says three out of 51. So where are those 51 onions? Well, they're actually in one of these chests right here. You see, 51 onions. So the way this mod works is it looks at all of the containers that are close to the player. And then it acts like all of that stuff is in the player's inventory. So it's not like you can just spawn anything. You still have to get the material, but then you can just have it in your chest. You don't have to go individually look through everything to find that one ingredient that you're missing. You can just go to the cauldron and make whatever's available. And this is amazing. It makes the Valheim preparation experience so smooth and enjoyable. You don't have to be scared of going into your base to make something because you got to spend 20 minutes gathering all of the crap and then you forget one item. No more. Now you can just open the cauldron and make whatever you need as long as you have the stuff for it. It's absolutely incredible. I don't know if I'll ever disable this mod unless I absolutely have to because it's so awesome. If you want to support my work, then consider renting your own dedicated Valheim server. Just go to zaphosting.com and use my link, JP Valheim.
Also, if you'd like to see more Valheim content on YouTube, then like this video or any other Valheim video so that YouTube knows that you want to see more of this kind of content. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!